Dave here from Creative Guitar Lounge. Basically, I wanted to shoot a little video because I'm back <laughs> after a very long time of doing nothing whatsoever with this channel. And I just wanted to explain why. Um, when I created this channel, I had recently been made redundant from my career, long career in the uh, events industry. And I'd also, my partner and I had kind of retired from the band that we'd been in for a really a very long time. So I, I kind of got into this uh, internet marketing stuff. I'd signed up with this organisation that provided training and, and uh, resources and tools and everything. Amazing kind of journey. And I learned, basically, I was learning how to create my own websites and how to do all sorts of things on the internet. And one of the things I did was I thought, I'll create a guitar website. So I quite quickly put up... Um, pretty crappy website I have to be honest but I could do it quite quickly and I had some of my own photography and some of my own writing so I was using you know things that I enjoy doing and then I, I discovered affiliate marketing which is where you sell things and earn commission online so I found that there was quite a lot of guitar things like you know online guitar courses and actual guitars and so on there, there are places that you can be an affiliate for those things so I just basically signed up with a few of those put that on the website wrote a few blog posts and kind of that was it and then a friend of mine said why don't you to to get people to subscribe and keep in touch with you um, through your website why don't you create some little short videos he said I'd like to learn to play guitar myself he said and what I would find really useful was if when I was having a cup of coffee in the morning, if I could just tune into something on YouTube and watch a 10 or 15 minute video that just taught me something quick on the guitar, so that would be amazing. Like, you know, riffs or a little bit of tuning or a different way to play a chord. Just little simple things that I could learn in 10 minutes and practice away until the next week. So I thought, that sounds good to me. So I came up with the idea for coffee time riffs. And I did, I think about 10 of those and put them on this channel. But then, Life kind of got in the way. I started off quite enthusiastically with that, but then the other side of things that I was doing, some of the other things I was promoting, started to really take off, and so I had to divert a lot of my attention to that. So the guitar stuff kind of fell by the wayside a little bit, um, and then my partner and I decided to move. We took the success that I was having online, and her business was starting to take off. So we decided we could move out of the city and out to the seaside where we kind of are now in our guile. And that process was really complicated and took about six months in total to get that all buttoned down. It's amazing now that we've done it, but it was really stressful and it took up probably six months. We couldn't really concentrate on much else at all. And then just getting settled and established in here. And then we kind of met another band and did a few gig did a few jams with them and I did some recording for them. So that got us back into music. And I had in the meantime actually put the, the website for this Creative Guitar Lounge website. I thought, I'm not doing anything with this, maybe someone else can. I took it offline and put it up for auction. Um, and then I just kind of forgot about it. Um, and my partner and I kind of got more into music again and we started writing some more songs. And I had got Logic Pro during the pandemic. Um, and so I sort of learned all that. And then we started re-recording some old songs, writing some new songs. Then we started to do videos for them because I was already doing a lot of video for my other stuff. So just again, the website, the guitar stuff had been way in the background and then it was starting to get more interesting. I started to watch a lot of guitar stuff on YouTube and production stuff that I'd been watching. And it just got me kind of back into it. So not long ago, I went back to the website, took it off the auction, put it back online and stripped it down and just completely revised it and completely rebuilt it and what I've been doing meantime is in the last few months I'm probably three quarters of the way through writing a course which I'll make available soon and it's aimed at people who picked up a few chords back in the day and for one reason or another like I did myself um, didn't take it any further but are now coming back to it so it's for not quite beginners if you like and it'll take people from those basic chords to being able to play lots of chords all over the neck using tried and tested systems and then in different techniques different styles of music and then we'll, we'll look at lead guitar playing and take some simple approaches through um, 
different systems for that and different techniques and so on. So it's a kind of mix of written and video content. And I'll have that available, I think, in the next couple of months. So I thought it was time to come back onto the YouTube and say what I've been doing, why I haven't been here for a long time, to the few people that subscribed in the short time I was active here. Um, but the channel's still here, and so I just wanted to say that I'm back. And if what I'm talking about... Basically, my th whole thing about guitar is being unique as you possibly can, rather than just copying other people, you know, playing note for note solos. That's all great cover bands, you know, learning lots of covers. If you want to do that, nothing against that, it's just not my thing. What I've done instead is take little bits and pieces from things that I like and kind of moulded them together in my own kind of style. So um, if, if you think you could benefit from, uh, I think about 40 years experience I have of doing that, um, then stay tuned, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, or just keep checking in if you have and also maybe visit the website as like I say it's completely revised I've got lots of new blog posts and lots of new content on there and um, you can now subscribe to the list I think I've still got those coffee time riffs as, as a subscription gift so if you subscribe you'll get the links to those um, but I'll, I'll be developing new stuff as well as, as time goes on so um, that's really it just wanted to do a bit of an update after a very long time of absence from here and I hope to see you uh, again. So if that sounds interesting, subscribe, comment and like. And I hope I'll see you soon. Bye for now.